Welcome to Enox Engineering, I'm Alan. In this video we test this magnetic stand from Banggood. It looks very pretty but will it do the job? We'll see how it locks the arms in position and what's inside. So let's go into the workshop and find out. So let's see what's inside. And what you get in the box is the magnetic stand. The stand has a magnetic base. The base has got a V formed into it, but the angles of the V are quite shallow, so you'll only be able to use that on a large diameter. It's got two flats, so you can hold it onto any steel with a flat surface. You have the on off lever on the base. Then on top of that, you have the two arms that can lock into any position. You can fit a dial indicator through the first hole. And the screw on the top gives you some adjustment so you can zero the dial indicator when it's on the job. So for the lever type indicator, I'll take this out. On the end of the arm is a dovetail and the screw will lock a lever type indicator into the dovetail fitting. It will fit on the bottom of the dial indicator or on the back of the dial indicator with the dovetail. You just lock this up and then the screw on the top will give you some fine adjustment. It's very flexible and once you've locked the thumb screw it gives you a positive lock. Let's try it on the lathe. I've just fitted the dial indicator in the sleeve. This is the fine adjustment on the bottom. You can move it over the workpiece to where it's needed. Turn the knob to lock it. You can see it's fairly firm. You can rotate the part to do your checks. If you if you need to move it, you can slacken it off and lock it. You could probably set it to zero. See if I can set it to zero without the fine adjustment. There we go. And then underneath you've got the fine adjustment, you can move it to the zero position. Do the normal checks you need, slacken it off, move it out of the way. The V in the bottom is too shallow to use on anything that's smaller than about four inches. It will grip on the outside of the chuck and it's solid when it's gripping onto a flat surface. Now if I change this style indicator to the lever type, the lever type slides into the V on the end and you use the same clamping nut to clamp the dial indicator and the lever type in position and here you've got some fine adjustment so you can zero it that's running out far too much for this style indicator so if I just touch it on the highest point you can just see I can zero it on there 
do the tricks I need. It's easy to move any position. The way this works, inside each of these arms, there's a steel rod which comes down. When you tighten the arm by turning this knob, it pulls the tap head through, which pulls in these two bushes with a taper on each end. The end of the rod has a similar matching taper, so as you pull the bush in, it pushes the rod through the arm, forcing the ball joint on the end to grip on the end of the circlip. You can see it on this one easier. There's the ball. The ball is pushed outwards by tightening up the rod. When there's no tension on there, you can see it moves in and out. I apply some tension, take the tension off, it's loose. Tension it up, pushes the ball towards the outside. There's a circlip on the outside, so it locks up. So whatever position you put the ball in, it will lock up. And the same on the bottom one. And in that way, it locks the two arms rigid. Let me explain how this works with this simple drawing. This is how the magnetic base clamps the arms together. This end is the ball with the, with the fitting on the end for the dial indicator. Here's a circlip around one. So once the ball goes into the adapter, it can't come out. This part is fitted to the aluminium arm and inside the aluminium arm is a steel rod which touches the top of the ball and the taper. So when you tighten the thumb screw up, the two parts with tapers on are pulled in with the cap head and that pushes the bar out and locks the ball up against the circlip and locks it in position. And the same thing happens on the other arm. And that's how the locking mechanism works. Well, overall, I'm very impressed with this. It's good value for money and the quality's there. I've put a link to the website where the details of this video are displayed. Well, that's it for today. Hope that was useful. And we'll see you next time on Enox Engineering.